Hey friends, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my studio. I need to quick paint a couple of bumblebee paintings. I've sold out of them. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a four inch by four inch canvas from Michaels. They're fun. They're an inch and a half thick, stapled on the back. I love them and they'll stand up on their own, which is really neat. So a lot of people, I've got a couple people here in Omaha that collect um, bumblebee paintings. I've got four of them ready to go to a gal. Here's one of them. Isn't that fun? And she, she just has them sitting on a, on a shelf. Gosh, I don't know how many she has. She might have a dozen when she picks up, when I deliver the four new ones. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Thanks, Debbie, if you happen to be watching. So I'm gonna write the word love on my canvas. I'm trying not to press too hard. Um, but at the same time, then that makes it kind of light. These are watercolor pencils from Michaels. Isn't that fun? Lots of colors. Okay, I think I want to do a bright aqua green background. We're going to try it and see what it looks like. I love this color. Oh, gosh, it's, it's a little greener than my shirt. <laughs> I just realized that. Actually, I'm going to paint two at a time. I've got a second canvas sitting here. So I'm going to put out a little extra. We definitely need some white. Titanium white. And I'm wondering if I want just a smidge. I always get a little, because I want my B to, um, well, sometimes you have to peel off what kind of dries. I want my, I always want my B to pop forward. So I think I'm going to mix it with just a little, little neutral gray five. I'm just going to put a blob in there. Instead of putting some on my palette and just see what that mixes up like. So neutral gray five. All right, I'm going to mix this up and paint the background and I'll be back. Hey, so I ended up painting three backgrounds. Um, this is the one I started with, but just in case you notice the background changed or something, you'll know I just accidentally moved to the other other painting. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to paint this one all the way through so then I kind of know how to do it and I can paint the other two quicker. Because I haven't painted exactly this one before. I did, if you notice in the time lapse, add just another little plop of the Neutral Gray 5. And this is still quite a strong color. Um, it's pretty. I like it. And I used, to paint the background, there's even a little paint on it, the three quarter inch, it's Zen Line flat brush, which I've already washed out from Royal and Lang Nickel. I really like their brushes. I'm really not too picky, picky with brushes. I'm gonna put out some burnt umber. I think that'll be pretty with this. I think that'll be really pretty. Sometimes you see some color trends that are kind of similar. That's nice and creamy. That's a newer burnt umber. And then I'm going to use some cad yellow. Cad yellow medium hue. I actually might put that over here. I don't know if it really matters. I don't know. Oh, I might want a little black down the road. I might not need it. So let's see if we can get a green here. I'll just put here. Why don't we just do this? And that should stay in, stay in frame. I think I want a little more. Make a big pile of green. Or yeah, green. For a second, I thought I said something else. Oh yeah, I think that'll be good. I need more yellow. Make it a little greener. 
And then we can darken it with a brown. That might be pretty too. Mm, excuse me. When I look down, my nose runs. <laughs> That's, maybe it's not funny. I've had that problem for quite a long time. Maybe I'll just like put a blob in there. Let's put a little more out. It's been so fun for me. I don't know how long I've been. I've been on YouTube quite a while, but I just would upload maybe one video for something else, you know, just to store the video kind of thing. Um, but it's been so fun to have you guys tag along with me. I really appreciate it. Share my art journey with you, and then you guys share your art journey with me in the Facebook group. Um, the link is in this video description. No pressure, just if you're interested. I just thought I would do this mixing live. Sometimes I mix live and sometimes I don't. I think maybe I'll make a little bit more of a medium green. I can always add brown to it as I'm painting. So a lot of times I'll make a couple puddles and then mix next to the puddles. It'd be easier to mix if I didn't have the canvas right there. I don't know if that makes sense what I just said. I don't mix every color, every puddle that I need. I just kind of mix some values that I'm gonna need. Oh, and actually what might be kind of pretty, I'm thinking of this. So it's kind of a sagey green, you know, kind of a dried spice green, if that makes sense. I'm kind of wondering I take a little bit of this, kind of clean off my palette knife on a paper towel and take a little bit of this. That might make kind of a neat color. It's kind of a muted, I don't know what color. So I'm looking for like green leaves, branches, um, and I think I'm going to do yellowish flowers. Oh, there, maybe that's another color I want to mix. Well, that's kind of pretty. I like that. You don't have to mix it this thoroughly. I tend to mix my puddles fairly thorough. I think I might want a little more of that. Um, and then I can sort of have messy mixes off to the side. <laughs> I'm just giggling. I just heard what I said, messy mixes. That makes kind of a neat gray. Blue gray. I like that. We'll see how much we use it. I might have to mix more for because I've got three paintings going. Okay, the one thing I thought of, which I might. So I go through a lot of white. And then I think the next color I go through a lot of it is yellow um, because I do paint quite a few flowers. Um, and then it. It's. Um, it's probably one of the most transparent colors. I, I get a little nervous saying something so definite. It's quite transparent, so then um, you tend to need a lot of yellow and then just a pinch of another color. Yeah, look at that brown's really strong. But I was thinking maybe kind of a yellowy brown might be kind of fun in some of the flowers. We could throw in an orange, but I think it might be fun just to use this limited color palette. Okay, I think a smidge brown. Oop, I'm cleaning off my knife on a paper towel. Kind of scared about how strong it is. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That changed really fast, and that was barely, you know, barely any brown. Okay, I think we've got our players going here. I'm going to time lapse and I'll be back in a bit.
runs. I'm pretty close to done. Um, I've only painted this one. I haven't painted the other two canvases. I like that I just took this, oh gosh, quarter inch, pretty close. I'm gonna measure it here. Yeah, it's maybe a little smaller than a quarter inch flat brush. It's a craft brush that I got at Michael's. This is number six, Craft Smart. I was thinking this one, um, but this one will give me bigger brush strokes when it bends. So I went with this one. And then I'm just doing, you know, sometimes kind of triangle strokes, sometimes square strokes. So a square stroke with a little white dot makes a flower. Isn't that fun? So I thought I would pop in and do the, so you can do the wings um, with matte medium or just thin out some white paint with water. That's going to be loud. <laughs> Move that away from my microphone. Oh, and it's got like stuff that needs to be peeled off. I think we'll do it with some matte medium. Just two little drops. I'm really not going to need much. I'm going to use a number one round Simply Simmons. I think I might have come in here oh, with the legs. I don't know what size it is, but it's even a smaller liner brush. It's the mental line from Royal and Lang Nickel. I like the brown bee. You guys let me know what you think. I think that's fun. A lot of times your paintings can look more pulled together when you don't have too many colors on your palette. Okay, so maybe we'll grab some clean. Oh, I guess that's pretty clean over here. A little matte medium. Kind of stir it up. Okay, so for the wing, I'm thinking it's going to connect about there and maybe kind of come out maybe a little further than the back side. Let's just connect those two lines. I think we'll just show it's pretty much a side view. I think we'll just show one. And then we can always make it darker. What's nice about the matte medium is it, it'll make the white quite transparent. Oh, you could use, do I have some sitting here? You could use transparent mixing white. That works great. Um, there's no, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you're more comfortable with, whatever you like, or maybe try them. Um, in the cloud video, I kind of talk a little bit more about those colors. I'll link that in this video description. Oh, and I'll link some more B videos too. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to dry darker. Sometimes I want to put a little, <laughs> I said I was going to show just one wing. Maybe we'll put just a little hint. I don't think you'd really see it. This is quite the side view, but let's, Maybe just draw like a little, or paint, just like a little touch. Okay, let's let that dry. I'm cleaning up my brush. So I dip it in some water and then I, I wipe it on a paper towel. Here, if you want to see what my paper towel looks like. I don't know, let me know if that was interesting or kind of strange. <laughs> Sometimes people want to know just like how much, oh here, here's how clear my water still looks. I have two jars of water too, which helps. This one's a little dirtier. Just a smidge. I try to put most of the paint on the paper towel. And I don't know that it's that big a deal. Um, I just feel weird pouring paint down the drain. If you do pour any paint down the drain, flush it with a bunch of water. You don't want to clog your pipes. Okay, let's put a couple antennas on it while we wait for that wing to dry. I think you guys should give this one a try. I just kind of kept build, building up shapes and I'll, I'll look at this after I have some dinner and see if I still like it. It might need a little bit more. Okay, so the antennas aren't going to be all that big. Put one. Kind of going up. And then did you just, I don't know if you noticed, but I did like little short strokes. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'll see if I can hold it and paint the second one. Okay. 
Oh, it's a little more... A little fatter than I wanted, but I actually think that's going to be totally fine. Got a little... <laughs> I want to put like a little yellow. You can't really see it because it, it's so transparent, but I put like little straight up cad yellow on the brown. I don't got too much water on my brush. Let's try that again. This will probably dry a little more yellow just to make it fuzzier looking. And then that made a nice shadow color that I painted yellow over. I rather like that. Okay, so do we like our wing or do we want to grab some straight up white? So a lot of times off video, I wipe the water off my brush. I don't know what I want to do here. Less is usually more, is what I'm thinking. Maybe we'll put like a little stronger And grab some of our matte medium and white. Again, that could just be more water. Maybe just kind of connect it. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I'll have to see how that dries. We could put a little stronger white on this just to make it pull forward. Show up a little bit better. Gosh, I think we might be done. I just need to sign it. Oh, what color? I don't want to stand out too much. I think, I think I'll sign it over here. I don't know that it matters. This this most likely will not get framed. It's so little. Or they might put a float frame on it. So let's just make a decision here. So I could sign it pretty dark. Maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna grab, whoa, I just put a bunch of, I don't know if you saw that, but I dropped water into my, my brown there. Soak that up. That's way too much water. These colors, I just like yummy colors. I, we could have muted this down even a little more with some neutral gray five and the bright aqua green. If you paint one and want to share it with me, I'd love to see it. No pressure to, you don't have to. Um, I have a Facebook group. I think I, did I already mention that? The link is in, I think I did, the link is in this video description. So I do A for Annie, T for Tro, one dot for favorite son, and one dot for favorite daughter. <laughs> and then I sign the back. I'm not gonna do it right now because it'll be wet. I sign the back with Annie Tro and I use a, a black Posca pen. So the back of all my paintings um, have my signature on the back. All right, let's see, should we get a little closer? Get a, I'm trying to square it up. Get a screenshot. Okay, and then if you want to see the bee, hopefully it'll focus. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so it's a bean shape with a little oil face and then I pulled out a little nose. I don't always do that. Um, well, I was going to show you something else. And then I made the legs fatter. Sometimes I make the legs really skinny. I think that's fun. And there's just kind of close up of some of the flowers. I like the texture of the canvas. Of course, that's really close. Most people view it further away like that. Um, here's a bee butt that we painted live in case you want to try that one. It has a traceable. And I'm planning to do another video here pretty quick that'll have a, tr a bumblebee with a traceable. I just need to get these done so I can get them to the gallery. Here's a different bee. I keep doing them differently. Isn't that fun? I think this one has a traceable. You know, you start to paint so many you can't remember. Okay, guys. Oh, wait a minute. One more. So, I'm, these are for my friend Debbie. 
This one I, we painted live. You might like that one. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this one. I think the colors are really yummy. I'm really liking the, the brown and the aqua. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your likes, comments, and shares. That helps so much. I really appreciate it. And then people are sending money in to support the channel. I can't thank you guys enough. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.